This conference will now be recorded. Good evening, everyone, fellow Lions. I call the meeting to order at. Hold on a second. Put the slides up, um, August. Yeah. Um, okay, so protocol first. Um, thank you for joining us for our vir first virtual installation. Um, please mute yourself when you're not speaking. Um, and for those who are dialing in by phone, um, you can mute yourself by dialing star six. At this time, I will also mute everyone. Next, um, post comments in the chat. The chat is located at the top right. Um, you can, it looks like a speech bubble and I will type a message here in the chat right now. Um, and you should see a, a red number one um, appear next to the chat icon if you haven't had the chat open already. And lastly, this meeting is being recorded and will be available on the San Francisco Council's YouTube page after the meeting. Uh, okay, and then now I will turn it over to President Roger for the calling to order. Good evening, everyone, fellow Lions. I call the meeting to order at 7.08. I welcome all of you in our installation of officers of San Francisco Coordinating Council of Lions, year 2020-2021. We hope everyone is safe during these difficult times where most of us is still sheltered in place. Let us celebrate the evening through virtual communication. Try to relax, enjoy the evening in the comfort of your own living rooms. Welcome. Tonight, our mistress of ceremony is no other than PDG Lydia uh, uh, Taylor Beringer. Past District Governor Lydia Bellinger, 35 years in service. Charter member of San Francisco University Heights Lions Club. President San Francisco Coordinating Council of Lions year 2014-2015. Uh, District 4C4 served in numerous positions like Cabinet Secretary, Zone Chair, Protocol Chair, JLT, JMT, Trainer, Guiding Lion, Convention Committee. Received numerous District 4C4 awards like Lions Club International, President Medal, MD4, Excellent Award, District Governor 100% Award, Progressive Melvin Jones, Life Member Canine Companions, All Fellow Student Speaker Foundation Award. Please welcome past District Governor Lydia Taylor Banger, take it away. Lydia is bigger applause. Thank you. Thank you for that warm welcome. Uh, August, I sent you a text message. For whatever reason, the slides are not coming up on my computer. Are they showing on everybody else's computer? Um, I believe so. Sure. Can someone else? Okay, so <laughs> they're showing on my computer. I see yours. All I have here is everyone. At any rate, I want to thank um, Roger for that welcome. That was very um, pleasant and thoughtful of you. I appreciate it very much. Uh, we will proceed, even though I can't see what's coming up next, but I do know. And the first thing I want to do is welcome all of you to this uh, installation of uh, the San Francisco Coordinated Council of Lions Club. Uh, we are very pleased to have you this evening. A reminder to keep your um, computers muted and when not speaking, please put them on mute. And if you have any comments or any messages, please put it in the chat box for us. We will start the meeting now by having our um, pledge to the flag by none other than Second Vice President-elect Sharon Eberhardt from the San Francisco Geneva Excelsior Lions Club. I can't hear you, Sharon. 
And Sherry will be the only one that is pledging. Wait, uh, turn on your mic, Sherry. Now. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Sharon. Next, we will have the patriotic song by none other than first vice president elect August Valera. Would you proceed with that, please? Okay, um, and I'm going to not attempt to sing, but play a video of America the Beautiful. Um, please feel free to sing along while muted, and I will be doing the same. Uh, now, give me a second. for that wonderful song. And as we move on, next we will have our invocation by none other than the district co-chaplain, Yolanda Kayak. Yeah. Good evening, fellow lions. Please join me in our prayer. Let's pause for a moment and remember <clears throat> those lions who has gone ahead of us. Also at this time, those people who are affected with this pandemic COVID-19 and all of those affected with this fire. Gracious God and living Father, as we begin with the activity of the evening, we invoke your empowering presence in our midst. Lord, as we are so assembled, let us not lose sight of the fact that we are a group of people chosen with a noble purpose, that of providing care and healing in our ailing world. Thank you, God, for giving all of us lions the opportunity to do just that. Father, you are fully aware of what's going on around us, such as the pandemic COVID-19, which causes loss of lives, and now the California fire going around us. We continue to lift your name for keeping us all safe amidst this chaotic time. Please protect all the frontliners, the firefighters who are working hard to protect all of us. We pray for their safety while they do their work as well as their family and loved ones. God, please continue to remind us that we have been given too much. And as lions, we are all instructed to share and be instrument of your grace. And tonight, we are installing the officers of the San Francisco Coordinating Council 2020-2021. Give them wisdom and knowledge, patience to lead us and bring the club to the next level of service. And to the outgoing officer, thank you for the service and may you continue the flame to serve as lion wherever you're needed. This we pray in your name, amen. Thank you, Lion Yolanda. Now it is my distinct pleasure to welcome all of our special guests that have joined us this evening, our um, 
and the ones that I have the listed. And if I miss your name, please send me a note in the chat. I'll be glad to uh, acknowledge you. But for this evening, what I have so far for our distinguished guest is past council chair Emo Cantola, past district governors Larry Wong, Eugene Chan, Esther Lee, Bob Wilson, and Mario Benaventi, an immediate past district governor, Helen Casapling. We also have present um, the past presidents from the San Francisco Council, past presidents from the Peninsula Council, as well as their current president from the Peninsula Council, Ms. De Line Debbie Keeley, Keeley. Also, I want to acknowledge the cabinet officers that are on this call. Your cabinet secretary, Yvonne Cantola, cabinet executive assistant, Denise Kelly, all of the region and zone chairs, also our very own second vice district governor, John Huey, first vice district governor, line um, Dr. Valera Jr. And of course, none other than our very own District 4C4 district governor, Fanny Chu. If I have omitted anyone, please know that it was not intentional and please let me know in the chat box and I'll be glad to acknowledge you. So next on the agenda is the outgoing president's message, which will be given by none other than immediate past president Roger Kayapya. Thank you, um, BDG Ligia Taylor Bellinger. I know it's not easy for me to leave, but I'm humbly enough to say a few words to you. Good evening, fellow Lions, dignitaries who are present with us tonight, friends and colleagues. I thank you all for attending our virtual installation. Thank you for members of San Francisco Coordinating Council of our Lions for allowing me to serve you as president last year. Though it has been short because of the pandemic, uh, pandemic COVID-19, it has been an honor and joy and experience that I will forever cherish. My theme last year was camaraderie and service. I can say for a fact that I was able to achieve that I have many new interesting colleagues, made many new friends, and of course, away from trouble. And I did anyone in the fullest. Though my term as a president has now ended, I can step down humbly with confidence and look to the future as I pass the torch to our new President Lion Peter Lamb. Lastly, I want to encourage all the different clubs to get involved and develop friends. Only together we can serve and share the power and value of San Francisco Coordinating Council. Lastly, but not least, thank you to the advisors I love. I am forever grateful for years, guidance, support through the years. You are my forever friend. Thank you all for your support, members and cabinet officers over the years. To my loving wife, co-chaplain, room chair, Yuli Kayabiab, my family and in-laws, my children and grandchildren. Thank you for allowing me to do what I like to do to serve. Thank you all and good evening. We love you. Thank you for that message. You were an outstanding president and you're not going very far. You're going to be right there to assist the incoming president. Thank and you. Congratulations on your year. Thank you. Next, we will be introducing 
the person that will be doing the installation. So you can move um, pastors to Governor Larry Wong, slide up, please. And I'll give you a little history about pastors to Governor Larry Wong. He's a life member of the San Francisco Chinatown Lions Club with 42 years of service. He served as president of the San Francisco Chinatown Lions Club. He too was also president of the San Francisco Council at one time. He has also served as district governor from 1988 to 1989. He served on the Lions Club International Credentials Committee for 10 terms. He's a trustee emeritus of the Lions Eye Foundation of California and Nevada. He is a Don Stanaway Fowler, a Helen Keller Fowler, and Melvin Jones Fowler. He's a life member of the Lions Eye Foundation at California, Nevada. He is recipient of the Simoria Rick Nucitelli Award at twice, and he is also a District Lion of the Year. He received that award and two International President's Medals. Lion Larry Wong is the most senior past district governor of Lion District 4C4. Please welcome past district governor Lion Larry Wong. Hold on, we're we're getting to mute him. Hold on. Okay, now Okay, we'll start all over again. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to begin the uh, installation of officers for the Samsung Council of Lions Club. For treasurer, the elected is Ching Evaristo, San Francisco Dynamics Lions Club. Lion Ching has served as charter president of the San Francisco Dynamics Lions Club. She has also served the San Francisco Council as secretary and also as vice president. So Lion Ching, as treasurer of the San Francisco Council Lions Club, you will be responsible to collect all payments due to the council and pay out all expenses as directed by the council president. You will deposit all monies at the council financial institution in a timely manner. You will be custodian of all receipts and expenditures, and you will maintain financial records and issue reports at all monthly meetings. You will report status of the council to District 4C4 when necessary. Will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? I do. Thank you. As a past district governor of Lions Clubs International, I declare you are duly installed in your office position. Congratulations. Thank you. Secretary Evelyn Paji, San Francisco Host Lions Club. Line Evelyn has served as the SF Host Lions Club in many officers and committee chair positions. She has served as president of the SF Host Lions Club. Lion Evelyn, as secretary of the San Francisco Council of Lions Club, you will be responsible to take minutes and make reports at all monthly meetings. You will need to communicate with all council clubs and District 4C4 to update them on all council club activities, projects, and schedules. You will maintain records of council activities and prepare reports to District 4C4 when necessary. Will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? I will. I do. I do. Thank you. As a past district governor of Lions Club International, I declare you are duly installed in your position. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, elected as second vice president is Lion Sharon Eberhardt, San Francisco Geneva Excelsior Lions Club and the first vice president, August Ferrari III, San Francisco Phil M. Lions Club. Uh, Lion Shern has served as club president of the Geneva Excelsior Lions Club. 
She has also served District 4C4 as Zone Chair and Region Chair. First Vice President August Valera III started in the Lions organization as a Griffin's Lion, I mean, Griffin's Leo, and served as Leo President. He advanced to the Phil M. Lions Club, served in officer positions, and is the current club president. He has also served the San Francisco Council as secretary and has been serving District 4C4 on the Global Service Team Coordinator and is a member of the Information Technology Committees. So Lion Sharon and Lion August as Vice President, you will assist the Council President to conduct the monthly meetings according to the agenda. You will facilitate club reports, attendance, projects, and activities as directed by the Council President. During the absence of Council President, the ranking Vice President will be responsible to conduct meetings. Will the two of you perform these duties as Vice President to the best of your abilities? I will. I will. Thank you. As the past District Governor of Lions Club International, I declare you are duly installed. Wow. Yes. Okay, the immediate past president is the Lion Roger Kaya Baya, San Francisco Host Lions Club. He has served as the president of the San Francisco Host Lions Club, uh, which incidentally it has just celebrated 100 years uh, anniversary with Lions International, the oldest club in our district. <clears throat> Line Roger, as outgoing San Francisco Council President, you can assist the President and the San Francisco Council with the knowledge gained from your experience. Will you be available to provide info and records when required? <clears throat> if, if, if so, say I will. Roger, unmute yourself. I will. Thank you. As President and Governor of Lions Clubs International, I declare you are duly installed in your position. Next, Thank you. Thank you. next elected to serve as President of the San Francisco Council of Lions Club is Lion Peter Lamb, San Francisco Chinatown Lions Club. Peter was born and raised in Hong Kong and came to the United States to further study at the University of Oregon and UC Berkeley. Having an artistic talent, he studied architecture. He has been a practicing architect for more than 40 years and is a member of the American Institute of Architects. Peter has served as directors and officer positions on several boards of community organization and was president of the Asian American Engineers and Architects. At present, he is a consultant and partner in the Real Estate Partnership. His partner in service is Lion May, member of the San Francisco Chinatown Lions Club. They are blessed with two sons, daughter-in-law, and a grandson. Lion Peter has served as club president of the San Francisco Chinatown Lions Club. He also served District 4C4 with distinction as Zone Chair and Region Chair. He is a Helen Keller Fellow and a Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow. He was awarded District 4C4 Excellence Award and District 4C4 Governor's Award. Lime Peter, you have been elected to serve as President of the San Francisco Council of Lions Club. You will be responsible to hold monthly meetings during the pandemic environment and normal conditions by holding either virtual meetings or regular meetings. You will be responsible to prepare monthly agendas, schedules, activities, and projects. You will need to meet the challenge of all previous San Francisco Council President who performed with distinction before you. Will you perform your duties with dedication and vision to the best of your ability? Yes, I will. Thank you. With the authority vested in me as past district governor of Lions Clubs International, I hereby declare you are duly installed as president of the San Francisco Council of Lions Club. 
Congratulations. Now I will turn the meeting back to MC Lydia Taylor. Uh, Thank you. At this time, we will yeah. have the acceptance speech right. by the incoming president, Peter Lamb. Hello. Hello. Coming through uh, loud and clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Friends and honored guests, thank you for your attending our installation ceremony tonight. Thank you for your nomination and confidence in my leadership. And also thank all the team that is involved in the production of this evening, Line August, Line Sharon, BDG Lydia's MC, BDG Larry, as the uh, installation officers. Actually, online meetings offer many conveniences. Just turn on your laptop, iPhone, tablet, and it's like a magic carpet taking you to where everyone is. You don't need to get into your car, drive through heavy traffic, and spend time looking for parking. You save time. And uh, that gives us time for a game later. So. Don't go away. These monthly meetings offer opportunities to forge new friendships and to strengthen mature ones, the great bonding experience. We can all attest that many of our lasting friendships were nurtured by these monthly meetings and through working together on service projects. Through these activities, we share and learn from each other to make our own club stronger and more relevant in providing services to meet the ever-changing needs of our communities. Our sister council in the peninsula has 50 Our big sister with President Debbie. Where am I? <laughs> Both councils hold joint meetings three times a year. One such meeting not to be missed is the Halloween party we all enjoy. Both councils sponsor its own annual award gathering to honor our local firefighters, police, and sheriff officers who have been serving at the front line against and in spite of the COVID pandemic and other difficult situations. I have chosen this year's theme for the San Francisco Council, We Serve with Vision. The four main words in the LCI webpage are, we serve and our vision. With vision of the present and the future, Lions serve the communities facing long-standing challenges as well as emerging ones. Some of our efforts may be minor, but the people who receive our compassionate services, they can make a big difference in their lives. And in turn, we lines are rewarded with vision of accomplishments. However, minute and grand, such feelings put smiles in our hearts. With vision, we stand ready to plan future courses of action. And with vision, we define, execute, and accomplish our goals. Let you and I make us our individual and collective vision to bravely and compassionately march on to serve as lions. Together, we are stronger. Thank you all, and be safe. Back to you. Thank you. We will now have the passing of the gavels as shown on your screen. Here's the real one. <laughs> Very good. Very cute. Congratulations to all of the officers. We're all looking forward to working closely with all of you. Now at this time, we will have some remarks from the advisors 
And the first advisor is uh, past district governor, Esther Lee. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Congratulations to all the newly installed officers of the San Francisco Coordinating Council of Lions. Thank you for accepting the position, and we hope that you will devote some time to the position to which you have pledged to serve. I just want to reminisce a little when I started attending the council in 1988. I do remember PDG Eugene, Piper and Ernest Lott of Ocean Ingleside, Beverly Groves of the Lioness Club, Frank from the Lioness, from the Sheriff's Office, and the parents of Connie Bridgewater, who have all, most of these people are gone, including Aldo Lazzarini and Ron Seward. <clears throat> most of our meetings were at the Park Prestigio Golf Course Hall, and also at the Fort Mason. We were small then, but we were close and we functioned well. Club memberships were collected. Later, PDG Larry joined us. It's easy to say to unify, it is only a word, but you do need a bond to glue us together. A reminder that leadership job okay. isn't to have all the ideas. It's to make sure all the ideas are heard and that the best one wins. Thank you for my two minutes. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. We were also gonna hear from uh, advisor Eugene Chan, but I don't seem to see him. If you are on, uh, Eugene, this is your time to speak. So, not hearing from him, we will move on to the additional advisor, and that's past District Governor Larry Wong from the San Francisco Chinatown Lions Club. Unmute. <laughs> Can't hear you. There you go. Okay. Uh, I want to extend best wishes for this year's officer for a successful year. You're going to have to carry on the traditions of all the past council presidents who have gone before you. Uh, all of them have served with distinction and dedication. I just want to mention that uh, I'm senior past district governor district now, but I am not the senior past council president. That honor belonged to uh, Lion Cipriani, who is still active. Uh, he's with the San Francisco Golden Gate Lions Club. So uh, I want to say again, congratulations to all the work the past presidents of the council have performed. And again, best wishes to this year's new crop of officers. Thank you. Thank you. And now we will get some words of wisdom from the Peninsula Council of Lions Club President, Lion Debbie Kilty. Well, now you didn't tell me I had to give words of wisdom. I, I don't have any words of wisdom. <laughs> Uh, but I will say congratulations to all the new officers. President Peter, congratulations. It's going to be a very different year. I I wish for nothing more than for us to have our joint Halloween party because that is always such a highlight to the year. And hopefully this crazy pandemic will have blown past by then. But if not, I'm looking forward to all your creative ideas and I, I hope to steal and copy as many as I can for our district and uh, otherwise press on congratulations everybody 
Thank you. And congratulations to you also for being elected as president of the Peninsula Council. Thank you so very next, much. We're Thank going you. to hear from District 4C4 top leaders. Our second vice district governor, Lion John Huey from San Bruno Lions Club. Well, I want to welcome and thank you, uh, Peter Lamb and the officers um, of your this coming year. And like uh, it, 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 this is the new normal for all of us that we are uh, facing. And I wish you all the best of luck and success. And uh, hopefully we can celebrate our brave fire and police uh, out there uh, through your effort. Thank you. And next, we will hear from our very own District 4C4, first Vice District Governor, Dr. Lyon June Valera from the San Francisco Phil Am Lions Club. Congratulations to all uh, new leaders, especially to the president, Lion Peter Lamb. And thank you to the immediate past president and its cabinet, Lion Roger Kayabiab. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. See, they took after me, keep it short and sweet and to the point. So next, please, please show your fingers as we welcome our very own District 4C4 Governor Lion Fanny Chu from the San Francisco Chinatown Lions Club. Hi, my fellow Lions. I am really very honored to be here, especially it feels like going home because look at uh, PDG Larry, um, Eugene, and also our, your, th this year's um, president. Lion Peter is our past president in our club. My home club, San Francisco Chinatown Lions, I'm very is special to me. You can tell from the pin that I have. So I wanted to thank last year's Lions that have served. It is not easy. It was uh, trying times. The firemen and policemen uh, award dinner didn't didn't happen. We're looking forward to next year. We hope and pray for next year. But you can see all the lions are there. We are all together. Look at the attendees today. Look at all the leaders all in one group by Zoom. Yes, and so thank you very much. PDG uh, Lydia trained us all very well. I'm also going to keep it short and sweet, but I know that this San Francisco Council this year is going to do great things. Thank you. Thank you, District Governor. And now for a little entertainment so that you would have some fun, we are going to have trivia and things that the new second vice president, Sharon Eberhardt, will take you through. Okay, welcome everybody. Um, we're gonna have 12 questions and you'll have 20 seconds to answer each question and you'll post your answers in the chat bubble. I'm going to direct it to everyone. And then um, uh, Lion, Peter, and May will keep track of all the points that are earned and, and by whom. And we are, we are asking that everybody be honest and don't use Google to look up your answers or ask your buddy that's in the room with you. So. After um, all the questions have been asked and all the points have been tallied, uh, May and Peter will tell us who the winner is. And then um, that winner will, the, we, if we have three winners, because we could have that many, uh, each person will get a $5 gift card uh, that were and they were donated by Lion Uni, Lion Peter, and Lion August. So if everybody's ready, we'll get started. Well, okay. Um, so first, uh, so just just to reiterate, uh, we've changed the rules this time just to streamline the scoring process. 
Um, so only the first person to post oh, the correct thank answer wins, thank you, gets, gets, the, gets the point for that question. Um, and you posted in everyone. Uh, last time we posted it in organizers only, and then we had a hard time scrolling up and seeing how many people answered correctly. So this time, uh, just post it to everyone. Everyone can see all the answers. Uh, uh, don't be ashamed, because <laughs> I'm I'm also pretty bad at trivia. So so I'll be posting some some strange stuff as well. Um, okay. But uh, so let's try this out. So first, this is a sample. Um, so this is what the question slide will look like. Um, so this is you can see this one's just a trial run. No points here, but the question would be. Question. Hold, hold on a second. Yes. What is it, Billy? Yeah, I don't know how to uh, manage the chat, Where so I cannot post my uh, answer. Where? Where's the okay. chat? Okay. So um, you should see if you're. Are you on a phone, a computer, or oh, no okay. computer? Okay. So at the top right, there should be a speech bubble and. Since there are a lot of people typing, um, there should be a red number that says how many unread messages are in the chat. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah. If you click on it, then you can see all the messages. Oh, um, Line Uni, um, please post uh, to yeah, everyone, like not organizers only. Okay. Okay. So you get a little box where you type your answer in. It should yes. say to all entire audience. Yeah, send to everyone at the very bottom. Okay. Um, so I will read out just for as a confirmation, everyone who typed out we serve into the into the box uh, correctly. If your name was not read out, then uh, you got to figure out <laughs> why <laughs> what's wrong. Um, so <laughs> Debbie Kilty, uh, PDG Mario, uh, May Seto, Kevin Guess, uh, our second vice district governor, John, PCC Emil. Um, uh, DG Fanny, um, Zone Chair Paul Larson, uh, Irene Young, John G, I think that's John Gill, Jack Mock, um, other people posting other things. Uh, so Peter got it, Peter Lamb, Eleanor Britter, Lydia Taylor Bellant, or PDG Lydia, uh, Mr. Swave, I think, <laughs> interesting name, uh, Martha Lowen, um, Eleanor Britter again. Uh, just you know, just in case, uh, Yvonne, uh, PDG Esther, and uh, Lion Floor and Billy. So everyone except uh, Lion Dr. June, um, you posted it to organizers. Now we're posting it. Uh, change it to post to everyone. And Sign same in, with Debbie. Uni. Same with Uni Buckley. Um, so besides those two that I named above, okay, Venetia again, I think, or maybe maybe she didn't do it earlier. So Uni and uh, First Vice District Governor Dr. June uh, get that fixed, but for everyone else, uh, and then but remember, speed counts now. Okay, thank you, Lion Dr. June. So um, the first person to get the correct answer gets a point, and if not, then whoever gets the closest answer when the time runs out. And then actually at the end of the the question, uh, when the time runs out, we'll post a message saying you know done, and the answer will appear on the slide over here. So are we ready? Um, line Sharon, you can take over. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, oh wait, wait, who's timing? Peter and May, aren't they? Peter, oh, okay, well anyway, we'll, 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 go, we'll, we'll run with it. The first one got it, and then after 20 seconds, we, uh, we go to the next one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, here's the first question. What has a mouth but never eats, a bed but never sleeps, and banks but no money? How much time are you giving them? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Somebody, somebody got it. First one is done. Okay, who, who got the, who was the winner? Uh, three people. First one. They all got 752 people. Uh oh, they all 752. But so I think there, it's, no, I think it's not by the minute, it's by the second. So I think the order <laughs> should be the same for everyone. So okay. whoever's the first. 
Okay, the, yeah. okay, the first one is, hold on, is, uh, is uh, hold on. Oh, up here, up here. What was the answer? A river. Oh, okay. Dr. Two, Dr. Two, Dr. One, Dr. One, right here. These are 52. Yes, they're okay. all 52, Peter. That's why. Okay, Dr. Second. June. Dr. Are June, you ready? Dr. One. Next. Are you ready for the next one? I'm timing them for you, uh, Sharon. I'm not doing it. Okay. That, I, uh, we're going to go to the next question. What year was the first convention of Lions Clubs International held? 20 seconds start now. Okay, got it. Time is up. Okay, the answer is 1917. Paul Lawson. Paul Lawson. Okay. Okay, question number three. What has rivers but no water, forests but no trees, and cities but no buildings? Time starts now. <laughs> got it, Mark. Okay, we got it. Mario. Mario. Hold on. PDG Mario got it. Time's up. Just ahead of uh, Line Esther. Okay, the answer is a map. Okay. okay, next next question. In which country was the first club formed outside of North America? Time starts now. Time's up. Okay, the correct oh, answer. No, the correct answer was got it. Mario got it by the second. All right. Okay. The Mario correct answer it. was the correct answer was China. England. England. Uh, England. What you got? No, China. China. It's England. No, it's China. You welcome no. England. We are we we looked this up. So actually, uh, we we originally thought it was England, and then I got the question wrong while I was taking Lions University for the USA Canada forum. So it, it is China. And I'm I'm just thinking it's Canada. Wait, 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 wait. I investigated on Google, and several sites all said China is the right answer. Okay, okay. And, and also for, for those saying Canada, um, please look at the map of North America. Outside of North America. Okay. So Thanks nobody can Okay. Okay, we ready to go on to number five? Yes. I am a ball that can be rolled but never bounced or thrown. What am I? And starts. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Okay. It's right here. Okay, Dr. June. Dr. June got this first. Thanks, yes. I hope. It's an eyeball. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, being a right. doctor, he probably knows. Okay, the next question. The Lions and Magazine is now printed in how many languages? <laughs> okay, we got answer. Line answer. Line answer got the answer. Show it. Twenty two. Twenty two. Okay, next question. You can catch me, but you cannot throw me. What am I? Time starts. 
What's that you cannot touch? You can catch me, but you cannot touch What am I? First answer came, Venetia. I'm Venetia. Okay, show the answer. Well, wait a minute. Let, let the 20 seconds go. Time no, is First one win. The answer is a cold. Oh. Okay. Question number eight. In what year were women encouraged to become lions? I know that. Time starts. Yeah. That was the year my club was chartered. Four seconds, three, two, one. Is there one? Esther. Oh, Ryan Esther got it. Nine, 1987 is the correct answer. Okay, question number nine. I do not speak and cannot hear but I always tell the truth. What am I? Uh oh, Linus, you got it also. Seven, it. five, four, three, two, one. No. The answer is a mirror. What was the answer? Mirror, a mirror. Okay, next line answer, guys. Okay, number right. 10, number 10, question number 10 is, what is the minimum number of clubs in a lion district? Well, I think the PDG. Oh, she got it again. Yeah. Esther. 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 Got nine seconds to get the right answer. She was the first one. BDG Esther. Three, no, the first one. Okay, the first. Did you be the first one with the correct answer? Okay. Thirty-five is the answer. Next. Okay. Question number eleven. I have a head and a tail, but no arms or legs. What am I? Yeah. Then Venetia. All right, first answer wins. Venetia. Venetia. Peter, Peter, you still got nine seconds. Eight. No, no, no. First seven. one. That, how hard is the first one? First answer. The answer is a coin. The answer is a coin. The what? The answer is a coin. Oh, okay. Okay. Last question coming up. Last question. Okay, you ready? Go mm -hmm. Go up. I go up and down, but never move. What am I? I know. I go up and down, but, but never, never move. It's on the screen there for you. Emo. Oh, emo. P C C emo got the first right answer. <laughs> so okay, so we tell you, we tell you. We have to give the answer. A flight of stairs. She got four. Dr. Juan got two. And Venetia got two. Okay, I will uh, announce the winner. Remember. The first one who answers correctly gets the, gets the point. They need to remember that. Okay, so uh, we have Line Uni getting two. PDG. We have uh, Lion Manisha got two. And we have PDG Esther got four. And so, Dr. Dr. June got two, not Dr. Uni. Oh, Dr. June, you looks like a UN, sorry. I'll just put the last slide up before he adjourns about when the next meeting is. Okay, so um, a Lion Esther will be the champion of this meeting. And, um, Lion and who keeps it second? 
and Indonesia will also get an award. The award is five dollars. Very big, huge, huge. Could you, could you donate mine? Please donate my five dollars yeah. to some. Donate to the council. Yes. Donate wow. it back. Oh, okay, back. So. Okay, Peter. Who came in third? Who came in third? Esther. One, one, two, three people came in third with one correct answer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. There were three people who were the first to answer correctly. There were three others. Remember, the person who answers first, who gives the correct answer first. Know, but we have three cards, so there should be somebody that had the most correct answers will win first place. The one with the you know, the next most answers will win second, and then one with the next will win third. Understand? Well, that would be Dr. June. That would be Dr. June. Who okay. did she answer as, was the first one to answer four questions first? Then Dr. she's. Dr. June answered two questions first. Okay. Um, then Lion and answered two questions first. Then there were three other people who were first to get one answer correct. And okay. I am Paul. I am Mario. Need one more question. <laughs> so then, Lion, Lion Esther, Lion June, and Lion Venetia get the three cards. Yes. yes. Okay. And since I'm one of the donors, so we uh, donate I'll, it. It, I'll be give I'll give it to Dr. June directly, or Thank I'll you. donate it back. Can you have him donate? Just it donate it back. Can you donate it to the hospital? Have him give it to somebody who needs there at the veterans hospital your choice your choice okay uh let's send your wish in to our council and we'll act accordingly okay i, I want to so, thank the council uh, I'll leave, uh, for your turn, peter i want to thank the council for allowing me to be your mistress of ceremony this evening and I want to thank all of you that joined us. And I'm looking forward to all of you joining these Zoom meetings when we have our San Francisco Council virtual meetings. And that the first meeting is scheduled for September the 23rd. Yes. All and right. then your new president, line, Peter Lamb. Okay, I will be honored to declare or uh, move that this meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Very good. Second. I was congratulations. 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 Thank you. Congratulations, congratulations to all. Congratulations. congratulations.